pitch count got up there a little bit, so that's why he came out. But overall, uh, good stuff. Uh, good off-speed pitches along with the sinker. Uh, uh, really worked both sides up and played well today. So good to see him uh, throwing the way he is now after you know, having you know, to take a little time off. A little bit of a broken record, but is there anything more you can say about Corey? I, I don't know what else to say about him. I mean, he's, he's carrying us. Uh, he's trying to carry us. Uh, through that tough stretch, and, and so uh, another big day for him. Uh, good to see contribution toward the back end of the order. You know, we had what, five hits there, I think, you know, between Langford and Jonah and Duran. So good to see them do some things there to help out. But I, I don't know what else to say. He's just he's just an incredible hitter. The bullpen has gotten quite the shot in the arm at their performance lately in the last few games. What have you seen? from them just collectively? Yeah, more than anything, they're coming in, throwing strikes, they're attacking the strike zone really well and uh, pitching with a lot of confidence. So it's good to see, uh, you know, close game and we used some guys uh, the last couple of days that haven't been in a high leverage situation and they're handling it really well. Um, so that's, that's what we need, uh, you know, all of them picking each other up when some other guys need a break, and they're doing that. You managed one guy in particular who got a lot of intentional walks, but outside of him, where does Corey rank and how many times you've seen him get intentionally walked for guys you've managed? Yeah, he's right up there. And you know it's going to happen, so it's not like we're surprised when it does happen. And what has to happen is what I talked about yesterday. The guy behind him, Smitty, got a big hit. And it was going to happen in the future. We know that. So it's going to take uh, everybody doing something to help uh, win a ball game because he's that good. And you understand it. I'd be doing the same at times. Are you shocked when it doesn't happen? Uh, no. You know what? Every situation is a little bit different. You know, the score, uh, put runners in scoring position. I don't try to manage it against him when, I'm, when he's on my club, but I, I just know how good he is. I was going to ask this two, nine, two games in a row where he's got the intentional walk and he's got home on the first pitch of the next at bat. Is that a guy that just wants to come out and go do it again? Or does he just happen to get a good pitch at the first at bat? Well, he can hit a, a tough pitch too, so he can hit good pitching. And so, again, we talk about him so much here. And I've said this many times, but I mean, we're lucky to have him. I mean, there's no getting around it. He's such a gifted uh, player, and that's short too, and as a hitter, and, you know, a great guy. He's, we're, we're lucky to have him in our lineup. You mentioned this, that you, you won back to back games. Obviously, you're, that's not getting out of it, but you won three in a row. You've got a day off. What does it do? Like, like we talked about before the game, maybe not the best time to have a day off when you're playing well, but. What does it do for this team to kind of get things going in the right direction right now? Well, you, you get playing more like who you are. And this is what we have to uh, have to do, you know, to get back <coughs> to where we need to be. And, you know, it, it was a tough stretch. And last year we had our tough stretches, our share of them, and we did a great job of, of being resilient, bouncing back through uh, you know, times like this. This was, this was one of the tough ones uh, because you had a lot of injuries involved. But, you know, the days off, I said sometimes they come at a good time, sometimes they don't. But we've got some guys who can still use a, a little break. Jonah's been getting back there a lot. Uh, Kisner, he'll, he'll get the catch in Miami. Uh, Marcus, for example, you know, a couple of days is going to serve him well. We'll see where we're at with him. So uh, it's a long season, and uh, so, you know, these guys need to get their rest. On um, Wyatt, I mean, we've seen him do some pretty – electric things this year, especially on the base paths. I mean, as the offense is still finding its way, how important is the reintroduction of his energy, I guess, into this lineup? Well, that's why he's back here. He didn't have a long rehab, and we felt the same. That, you know, we, we need his energy, uh, you know, the way he plays, uh, the bat. I mean, he, he smoked the first ball, I don't know what it was, 110 or something, but he's, he's just a, a really good ball player. About his hitting, but the way he runs the bases, uh, he plays outfield. I think he does a good job. So it's 
good to have him back.